Hey guys, I have a word for you guys today. And God is saying, stay in your lane. Stay in your own lane. And he gave me this word. I actually wrote this word down a month ago. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I wrote it down in my notes and I wait for God to give me that push to be like, okay, release this word. And he released this word to me this morning saying to put this word out. And he is saying to stay in your own lane. This is the time and this is the season where God is calling all of his children to step into their purpose, to step into their destiny. And God doesn't want us to get distracted on what someone else is doing, what someone else is called to do, how their ministry is growing and yours isn't, how many views they're getting and how little yours is. And we can get discouraged when we look at someone else and we compare ourselves to where someone else is on their journey compared to where we are on our, our journey. And so God is telling me to tell you guys to stay in your own lane. We can get so caught up envying others and being jealous of where God has someone else but each of us are on our own journey for God's purpose. We have to remember this is for God's purpose, not us, not our purpose, but for God's purpose. Only God is capable of the increase. It's not because of what we're doing. We don't decide our growth. We don't decide when we're going to get blessed. We don't decide how we're going to get blessed. Only God decides that. God is the multiplier. God is the blesser. And it's up to God to decide when he wants to reward us. We don't know what others' previous seasons looked like to get to where they are now. We don't know what kind of warfare they face. We don't know what kind of setbacks they face or how many hardships they had to go through. And so God is saying, stop comparing yourself to others and stop getting distracted of what's over there and start staying in your own lane. Start being focused on what God called you to do because you have a different talent, a different uniqueness, a different calling than someone else that you're comparing yourself to. Maybe this person is called to preach, called to teach the gospel. Maybe you're called to storytell and to use your writing. Maybe another person is called to do prophetic words. Maybe, and you can't compare where someone else is on their journey and how they're getting blessed in their ministry to yours because God called you to do something completely different. And I know that a lot of us can get caught up in envying others and we start to try to like do what another person's doing. We're like, well, if they're getting views and they're getting seen and their ministry is going, growing by doing this, maybe I should try to do what they're doing. But God's like, no, 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 no. God called you for a specific reason because you're the person for the job because he knows what you're gifted in. And so God uses our gifts individually for the call that he has given us. And God gave me a verse that I want to share with you guys today. It's 1 Corinthians 3. And when I look this up in Enduring Word, which is an app that I use to break down the word, it is so good. And I want to read you guys what, so 1 Corinthians 3, and it starts with verse 5 that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. But the chapter is about the role of God's servants, okay? And I'm going to read you, this is what Paul is writing to the Corinthians. So he's comparing himself to Apollos, and this is what Paul is saying. Each one has the role the Lord has given. I planted, so Paul is writing this, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So then neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. And when I looked it up in Enduring Word, how good is this? Christian workers have different jobs. Just like I was saying, like each one of us has different unique talents, different unique callings that God has called us to do and see different results. But God is the one who gets the work done. Only God gives the increase. When a farmer plants a seed and waters it, he really does not make it grow right? The miracle of life does that. All the farmer can do is provide the right environment for growth and trust in the miracle of life. We do the same thing in ministering Jesus to other people. Some people are frustrated because they want to water when God has called them to plant, or they want to plant when God has called them to water. Others are frustrated because they want to make the increase happen when only God can do that. Real fruitfulness in ministry happens when we are peacefully content with what God has called us to do. 
So God is saying to stay in your own lane, stick to what God has called you to do, stick to the ministry that God has called you to do. You have your unique gifts, you have your unique calling and stop comparing yourself to where someone else is. If they're getting more followers, they're getting more known, they're getting more speaking engagements, they're getting more opportunities. But God is saying that you are having your own complete journey, your own complete path. And if your blessings haven't come yet, don't be tempted to distract yourself by falling for the enemy's trap and comparing yourself Comparison is the thief of joy, comparing yourself to what someone else is doing. So God had me release this word because he convicted me of this this morning when I kind of was like comparing myself to where someone else was. They're like getting blown up and their videos are going viral and they're preaching the word and they're doing all this stuff. And I'm like, but God, I'm doing the same thing. And, and God, I know is testing my motives because you have to be careful with are you doing it to please man or are you doing it to please God? And we have to like get, lose our pride and humble ourselves and remember that we're working for God's kingdom. We're not working for man's approval or man's praise. We're looking to praise God and to please God. And so God is saying, stay in your own lane and stick to what God is telling you to do. Don't compare yourself to others. God has your own blessings. God has your re own reward specifically tailored to you. I hope this word blessed you guys. If you don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram yet, I'll put my links in the description box below. If you feel this video has blessed you and you would love to sow into my ministry, I will put those links down below as well. And I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. See you guys in the next video.